What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am the Cypher Dragon. Welcome back to God of War! Oh. Come, boy. Solid sword, high of steel. Uh. Now where was it? Is this it? This is it. up every drogger in the mountains should have figured you had a way around the black breath all along now don't go thinking i could have gotten you past it you big sack of meat i got ways around most everything especially up here time was my folk had the run of this joint improved the design of the jotnar traps and built workarounds to boot why well, you think they're so devious Oh, uh. that reminds me. Watch out for traps. Let's get you squared away then. That takes a lot of ace here, gold. I'm sure you're winning smiles, armor enough, but why get chances? Son? Anything else for you? Tumble. This gives me up. Takes Runic down a bit, but. Artifacts. Spoils of war. I'm sure that's a load off your mind. Cooldown goes down. Fuck. Something for the boy? Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along. <laughs> now fuck right along. You just 
scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Shot through the wall. Come here, you bird. Wow. Bitch. It is a mountain. Big. <laughs> Damn, bird. Bastard. <laughs> traps there's a tunnel but you won't fit take it okay then Stronger explosive. This thing is. Exactly rotted yet, so. Think you can move it? Looks kind of heavy. I can move it. <laughs> it moved! And we're stuck. The card still attached to the. I see that. There. Let's go!
It is over. Look at all this old stuff. If it is not useful, leave it alone. I oh, know. I shall take that. special about them. I can feel it. New. Ooh. Ah. There's really nothing more to do. I don't know what we're still doing here. Still need to free the rope. Think you can use the cart to get us up there? Huh. Maybe. Come on, boy. Nothing. Okay, then.
follow me, Atreus. Okay. Oh, I know. For a trace. You saw him push a whole bridge, boy, and you're surprised about the rock. I'm not leaving till I'm absolutely sure I didn't pass like a language cipher or something like that. Frozen flame? Hell yeah. I gotta go back through this hole, which is right here. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts you'll find him. Come on in, then. So much for peace and quiet. And for Junior? Uh. On a pack of punch now. 
What'd you forget? The other three. And don't be letting that spit fister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Well, see you next time you need something. Look at that. It looks so dope now. Right. Yeah. There we go. Back to the wheel. again right I should hold it. Yeah. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. <laughs> Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. There's a note, a giant's prayer. 
They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. Ask them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. Whoa! What Stay back! these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Well, good for me, anyway. Oh, my... Come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side. yourself boy I to like my luck. Another mining loop. It may not be as long a way up as we thought. the summit how far do you think we'll be able to see the lake the world serpent our house we will see when we get there until then eyes open
Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. I just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. <laughs> Should worry more. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. How much farther do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. Did he fall off the edge? Shouldn't we get moving? They could be back any moment. Word. After we scatter our mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your trading. Okay. We're almost at the summit. 
Nothing's gonna stop us. Calm yourself, boy, and stay behind me. Yes, sir! I'm Intense. Hold. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> that looks like a root of the Yggdrasil tree. Is that its sap? Crystallized sap. Power inside. Incredible. I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh. Yes, I see. Hee <laughs> hee. The first big giant creature boss. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. something that big if we can catch it off balance I can distract him what are you doing we have to help him break right find an angle wait for my mark thank you
Terra. Plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready.
<laughs> wow, we actually did it. And you? Ah, uh, but, but, but nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No, I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No, over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No, and uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any. Ah! Why was there a fish in there? <laughs> I do not have time for this. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Shock arrows. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the bowstring's fiber, aiming it at that hardened world tree sap will vibrate its patterns to fracture them. What's that mean? It makes certain crystals go boom. Trust me. You'll love it. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. <laughs> Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just... It feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. My parasite. There we go. Want me to shatter it? 
Oh, I'm gonna like this. Strange, though. That one didn't completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once. It's glowing again. Yep. Experience stones. Huh. And there's one of those. <sighs> I don't see the things for it, so... on the other side. I will never get tired of shattering things with this. Betrayers here. Yes, Father. Patrulla! Boy. Sir. Okay. That's going in the journal. Okay, here for their fist.
Oh, wait a minute. There's two. Here, boy. Another one. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Ah. Uh. What's that? Oh, where is the last of the... All but one pot. Maybe if I look around, I'll find it. It's getting colder. We must be near the top. So this is without a doubt the way forward. Bingo, okay. Yeah. Eat an apple. I doubt this is the way forward. Not long now, Mom. Look, the summit. There is so a tree now. on the summit. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. <laughs> We actually are actually leaving a trail in the snow. Here we go. Oh. 
You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Well, Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions. Take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Shut up, idiot. <laughs> Uh -huh. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, well, we took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. 
But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Yodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body for these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. to find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Soon we'll be able to translate those Muspelheim runes. So this is the bridge to Yodenheim? I guess Mimir will help us figure out how to get through it, if we can bring him back to life. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves, south of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. OK. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about... My kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? 
Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. We jump. Really? Bad idea! Uh... I think I just fucked that up. <laughs> you were not just straight from the back. <laughs> we jump. Hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. We are not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. He eaten well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. Along with him. the smarts. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that- do you mind? Trying to concentrate here. Already on a break from my break. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. from here that way behind the big statue of Thor did you see something out there that tower I see no tower maybe I'm seeing things huh. I wonder if the world serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. It's here, right? Or is it over here? Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief, 
and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The oh, hare is too hair? confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? My headphones back on. Yes, the just summarize the story of the tortoise and the hare in about one sentence. We can talk about here. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. Oh, <laughs> She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. No. But you may feed it to the fish. But you may... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you may feed it to the fish. <laughs> oh, I love this game. More than decipher those moose bullhorn runes. It also contains the travel room. Ah! Can we go visit the fire room. I bet this will lead out. I bet it does. Is her house up right now? Her house is currently up. Okay, up we go. Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. There it is. about this.
Ah. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Ah. Huh. I have a feeling a developer or someone had a pet named Charlie. It. Are there? Damn. I can fire more arrows next time. Just give the word. She is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Well, there's weakness to... to uh... <sighs> Mistletoe. No. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Miller. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. They should put those in there at a now, spike. hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. 
I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Uh, great. How do you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Oh. <sighs> So, Mimir, why did Freya spin in your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. <laughs> uh, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Wait, can he read those runes now? Let's find out. Ah, oh, I can read what this says now. But it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. I put my lips to the horn.
Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. <laughs> Me luck. Uh, <laughs> you envy me. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, Maku no Huntunku. He knows the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. He thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Hmm. I guess... Uh, let's go looking for... way to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Let's go looking for Apnir's storeroom. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? 
Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. I heard that shite where... Treasures from all different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey, not to learn more about the dwarf. Fafnir was a rather interesting fellow, little brother. Perhaps I'll tell you a story one day. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? No. <sighs> so how many of these am I going to keep running into in a row? I will get you, bird. Gotcha. Oh my god. Reavers. Uh-oh. They must have gotten here first. Soft Svartalheim steel. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Uh, just how many of those damn things are there? Find another entrance. Uh. 
Atreus, to me! I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh my dear. <laughs> Looks like the Reavers made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. magical treasure and no what stuff keep your expectations low boy and you will never be disappointed there's entry stone Exactly. Resources, the main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Cindy's whetstone. I uh, probably did. I told you about expectations, boy. 
Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. Good feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Focus up, boy. ready for them this time I saw so I should keep my expectations low but always expect an attack it is a delicate balance expect the worst assume nothing and always anticipate an attack sure is a lot to remember No whetstone. And only one room left. I know I shouldn't hope, but do you think we'll find it there? No. Open the sesame.
that a ghost? So, you back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Hmm. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. Ah, there's the exit. No, that is not the exit. Ah, there it is. Why would his son betray him like that? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Assume nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. Guess. that what's that 
up there. Eh. I'm not gonna bother with it. Well, what did you think of Fafnir's storeroom? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. Mm. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In the reaver's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the Woodstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed him to the Reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of Reavers that operate out of the Northry Stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <laughs> well, then. well, unfortunately. Another treasure hunt. Pointless. Well, not if Cinder really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for this episode. If you liked, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!